Mr. Kwang Cho Kim, Director of UNESCO Bangkok, Mr. Abdul Wahid Khan, Assistant Director General of UNESCO, Mr. Hiroshi Masumoto, President of Inner Trip Reyukai International Japan, Ms. Salma Abasi, Chair of the E Worldwide Group, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to be here with all of you this morning at the second global forum on power of peace. First of all, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all international participants to Thailand on this occasion. I wish you a pleasant stay in Thailand during this three-day event. On behalf of the Thai National Commission for UNESCO and the Ministry of Education, Thailand, may I congratulate UNESCO on continuing effort in organizing this forum for the second time. I truly believe that it is the right time that we gather and look for possible ways to discuss on peace building in the globalization era, as peace is one of the global challenges that every country and community must jointly create while violent circumstances should be stopped. Therefore, I would commend UNESCO for bringing in experts from different sectors, including media, universities, teachers, and those who work in the digital world to exchange and share their experience in peace construction and pay more attention to how they can contribute positively to the construction of peace. Ladies and gentlemen, only a few years back, many of us can find it hard to believe that this digital world could become so interconnected through such new technologies of ICT, cell phones and digital devices. Therefore, free flow of information and knowledge becomes readily accessible at unimaginable speed. We are able to learn what is happening in other parts of the world, why people in other parts of the world can be informed of what is happening to us at the real time as well. This is why both speed and accuracy of reporting are crucial factors in the competitive world today. Television, radio have been commonly used for a long time, but they are becoming outdated to many people when news and entertainment as well as education are available even on our cell phones. Digital technologies make it possible to put cameras and microphones in more hands and diverse cultural settings. The internet and other evolving platforms to be opening new era of digital world where information sharing is borderless and real time. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at today's world news, however, we often learn and see conflicts in many parts of the globe. Therefore, one of the responsibilities of the media is to educate young generation of how conflicts have destroyed the true delight of human beings, which is the enjoyment of happy and harmonious lives, regardless of belief, faith, and culture. People should learn how to understand and accept differences among people. Nonviolent stories should be well integrated into the news, aiming at educating on the brighter side of the world and instill into our global citizens the sense of inner pride on nonviolence approach. This is how media can be highly influential as a means to either promote peace or accelerate conflict. Better awareness and understanding of the nature of conflicts through providing accurate information will enhance public understanding. Media have occasionally been surrounded by and witnessed the conflicts, yet they must retain neutrality and present accurate facts for readers to make their own judgment. 
The circumstances from various conflict zones in the world have demonstrated that careless and biased information could only incite public misunderstanding and bitterness and potentially worsening the situations. Ladies and gentlemen, as Thailand has always highlighted very much on youth during the past decade, we are very happy to learn that UNESCO has given high priority to build peace among young leaders. The ICT has become more and more powerful tool for youth in acquiring knowledge and to interact with one another for the benefit of exchanging and sharing information and experience. However, in the digital world, maximizing the positive use of the ICT is significant to development of people and nations alike. This is why the Thai Ministry of Education has introduced a master plan on ICT in education, aiming to narrow the digital gaps by promoting the use of ICT in all types of education, formal, non-formal, and informal education. This also includes the strengthening of the infrastructure of ICT, promoting e-learning, and the training of all education personnel. <coughs> In addition, we have a strong wish to ensure that basic human rights and dignity are fully honored, paving a solid path for a sustainable future of quality living. I am therefore particularly pleased to note that at the ASEAN Summit last week, a milestone was set at Sha'am when the much-awaited ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights or ICHR, A -I -C -H -R, was inaugurated with the presence of 10 members of ASEAN leaders. It is a clear commitment from the ASEAN leaders to promote and protect human rights, which is pivotal to the successful establishment of people-based community. Indeed, such commitment will certainly go beyond the human rights dimensions and fundamental freedoms. It will enhance the culture of peace in the region when human dignity and security are given, protection, peace and stability will prevail. Thailand, which has been the main instrumental in the setting up of the ICHR, is aware of this connection. Since 2004, the southern violence and conflict has prompted the Thai government to come up with innovative ideas, including the promotion of cultural peace in the conflicting zones programs that encourage better understanding among the Thai from different culture and faith are encouraged, including community, social, and sport programs. Such movements require effective tools to disseminate policies and ignite actual actions for increased stability. Media can be employed in every step of the implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all benefit from the favorable power of media to form the flower of peace for all to appreciate. On the final note, I would like to express my gratitude to UNESCO once again for initiating this forum. I wish all international participants a pleasant and enjoyable stay in Thailand, and I wish the forum success in all its deliberations. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Shinopat. And it's now I would like to invite all our five uh, speakers on the center stage to have group photos here for a few minutes. And while you are in the, our room, and the uh, Ministry of Education proudly to announce that they produced a very beautiful keychain and mural at the back, and the distribute all of you here are participating in this forum by our students.